A unique scavenger hunt kicks off in San Francisco tomorrow. A coin collector and shop owner says he is planning to give away $10,000 worth of rare coins, hiding them all across the city. New tonight, KTVU's Amber Lee spoke with the shop owner and has more on his mission to get more people interested in coin collecting. And it celebrates the opening of the Bay Bridge. So it's a Bay Bridge half dollars, what they call it. Rare collectible coins, pieces of history made in San Francisco. Seth Chandler, owner of Witter Coin in the city's Marina District, is giving away a total of 11 coins, five gold, five silver, and one copper, in what he calls a scavenger hunt that's open to the public. Well, I thought of the idea to place 11 different coins, all made in San Francisco, in 11 different neighborhoods. Chandler says the value of the coins ranges from $250 to $2,500 each. This $20 gold coin from 1915 and a penny made in 1909 are the two most valuable. I just love coins. I've been collecting coins since I was four years old. You know, when you hold a round piece of metal that's two or three hundred years old and you think about our founding fathers or you think about the country where the coin was made in you could really connect with history this is national coin week and chandler wants to get more people interested in collecting coins san francisco is the king of coin cities we're the only city in the country with three mints a u.s mint is still operating in the upper market area it produces special edition commemorative coins the first U.S. Mint started operations in the financial district in 1854. It's now home to the San Francisco Historical Society, a museum. The second U.S. Mint building on 5th Street is now a venue space. There is no artifact that even comes close to our coins to tell a story of a civilization. It tells so much about who we are and what we are, and the U.S. Mint has done a good job. Chandler says he and his staff have hidden coins in locations across the city, but that they will be giving out clues on social media. Each coin will be in a plastic bag, along with a card with information on how to contact his store, Witter Coin. We're encouraging people to bring it back here to our shop on Lombard Street just because we want to meet them. We want to see how excited they are, maybe do a little bit of video on it. We most importantly want to educate them about their coin that they found. Chandler tells me on Friday at noon he will post photographs on the company's Instagram account, Witter Coin, to give clues as to where the coins are hidden. One hint think like a tourist. Happy hunting. Amber Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.